Allen Fieldhouse. It is still January, so I guess you could still come up with some New Year's resolutions. A little bit delayed, but they still count, right? And they had a big weekend offensively in general, but nothing quite like the eighth inning of Saturday's game. Still Kilmer on the field with one of the stars of the game. Yeah, quarterback Peyton Bender, your first victory in crimson and blue. How's it feel? As the Jayhawks look to have their stuff together better against Emporia State, they want to get a win and they want to look good doing it as they head into those big games against Indiana and Duke. Business aside, personally, what does it mean looking at the season knowing this team is not going to be the same next year? This is the last run with all these guys. It's, it's, it's tough. I feel like we need um, like a moose sounder here. Like, this is the <laughs> moose Docus update um, on yeah, this chase yeah. for the record books. That was me trying to make a moose sound. It was not good. <laughs> if KU pulls off a win here in West Virginia, they'll stretch their season winning streak to 19 games. Good for the second longest under Bill Self. One of the group's head coach, David Beatty, has expressed a lot of excitement about heading into this season is the wide receivers. One of the reasons is new addition Ryan Shadler. Teams on both sides of the state line hoping to celebrate this Halloween weekend by keeping their seasons alive. We'll get started with the top seed in Class 6 on the Missouri side, and that is Blue Springs. Blue Springs hosting Jeff City. Jeff City's a four seed, and the Cats have only lost one game this season, hoping to keep it that way. Scoreless early on, a botched Jeff City snap. Right place, right time for the Blue Springs defense, and good hands, too. That doesn't hurt. Blue Springs ball. Next stop. Dylan Cowling on the QB keeper takes a 21 yards for the touchdown. Blue Springs leading 7 0. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the list goes on and on. And you can find catcher Salvador Perez on all of them. Salvi's just good. He's good behind the camera. He's, he's funny. He's uh, got a lot of energy and he can make people laugh. To my hermanito, okay. He always has a phone out 24 7. Yeah. I mean, every time I'm around him, anyways, he's posting and recording something. It's fun for him, I guess. Oh, well, so cool. I'm gonna train with you this whole <laughs> but Salvi isn't the only social savvy royal. Kelvin Herrera, known to fire off a funny tweet on occasion himself. He doesn't have fun uh, media. Yeah. So let's say I'm at I'm home, I just type a tweet out just to have fun. Yeah. And after a long hiatus, Danny Duffy rejoined the ranks of Twitter this offseason. It is nice to see Duffy back for a little bit of time on social media. You know, he does, uh, he likes to interact with the fans. I think when it comes to interacting with the fans, he's probably the top spot. So the question is, who's the best? Me? Everybody know that. <laughs> that was an easy question. <laughs> <laughs> and we're faithful life. Life. I don't care. Okay. People, me that. Now, 1,600 people see you now. What are, what are they saying? They say, uh, how you... That guy scared the heck out of me the other day with that live thing. I don't know what that is, and he just comes up out of nowhere and is like, hey, Doofy, you're on, you're on live. You're on live to 2,000 people. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, hi. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what to do with my hands. A lot of people see you live right now. Bro. Oh, yeah? What's happening? Oh, this is live? Yeah, it's live. Look how many people on top. How many? Oh, two points. Mala mia. You doing it? Mala hey, mia. mia. Oh, you're so popular, uh -huh. dude. You're so popular, dude. You'll be able to yeah, find the Royals on your social feed all season long. Some by choice, some not so much. I think I'm just going to stick to the the Twitter thing and uh, just continue down that road. But that's 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 it for me. I'm not going to be live broadcasting any part of my life, I don't think. I guess I'm just new to all the social media stuff. So. Oh, my gosh. How it's, old are you? I'm 30. 30 going on yes. 80 at this yeah. point. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Grandview guard Jordan Lathan is a nationally ranked 2018 recruit. And that's Lathan for three. He has a shoebox full of letters to prove it. Oh, glory to God. I say that all the time. But once teams find out about Lathan's favorite hobby, won't see many of these around. Uh, they're pretty limited. I'm just glad I got a pair. They kick their recruiting methods into high gear. Like the schools that recruit me now, they like they'll send me pictures of what just came in and and tell me like this is where it's at. Like you need to come here. Lathan's obsession with sneakers began back in middle school. I spent most of my time and a lot of my thoughts were about shoes and not basketball. But later he did some soul searching and realized he had to give his hobby the boot. I just locked in, got tunnel vision and focused on basketball and shoes were just secondary to everything. Shoes will never get me where I want to go. That's ironic, like yeah. shoes going to get you where you want to go when they're on your feet, but not when they're all you think about and all you're focused on. So I had to change my focus definitely. The change allowed Lathan to step up his game. Lathan for three in the lead, he buries it, Jordan Lathan.
But once a sneakerhead, always a sneakerhead. Some of his favorites have yet to see the light of day. These I haven't worn these yet, like I said, but I want to one day. And even those that have, they're as clean as Lathan shot. When it starts raining, you get a you get a plastic bag and you wrap them over your shoe. That's how you do that. You will see me in Walmart bags if it's raining and I got a nice pair on. You will not see me getting those wet. With six Division One offers and counting, Lathan will soon be kicking off his collegiate career. Maybe that will be enough for him to wear those good shoes. Shoes like that, it's not like you can just wake up and wear those. Like it got to be really special day. Until then, Lathan will be focused on leading his team at Grandview High, one step at a time. For Spectrum Sports, I'm Rachel Kilmer.